Hi, I'm Dr. Sanjay as a plastic surgeon at Thunder Bay in Ontario, Canada. Uh, this series called Surgery Basics is for educational purposes. I wish to thank uh, Nicholas Nucci and Miranda Waugh who have been instrumental in uh, creating this series. Uh, this video is about the deep dermal suture. Uh, this is an important suture to learn because for any deeper wound, you want to support the dermis. Uh, the dermis itself is the strongest layer of the skin and once it's well approximated then the cutaneous closure will hold really well. So the, the way we want to talk about this is that the deep dermal suture is D to S and S to D. What does this mean? What we're going to do is go from deep to superficial. So you can see I'm taking my, my bite, I've held the needle right in the middle and I'm taking the, my bite you know, towards the, from the de depth to the surface. Now the surface should be coming to the deeper dermis, not to the very top place of the dermis. So that's my first bite. So that's my D to S. So now I'm going to move this switcher away from me, the small or short end, and then I'm going to hold these, the needle again with my needle driver. And my next bite is going to go from surface to deep. So, so surface to deep. So that is the S to D. So when you do this, you keep this the, the shorter end towards you because this should be sitting on both on the same side as where you're going to tie. So now we have got a, a, a shorter end and a longer end. And what I'm going to do here is rather than go forward because the way things lie, I'm going to go reverse two throws. Two hold and then you've got again a surgical knot coming up here and then you draw the edges edges together of this wound so that's your first throw and then you take one forward and then you take another one reverse so this becomes a two one one so the result of all this is that you've got um, a knot which is sitting in the depth of the wound and not lying to the surface and then you're going to cut this really short, just above the knot and use a sharp pair of fine scissors, like these scissors is good. The uh, this suture, um, as far as the top tips go, um, always take the deeper dermis because the dermis has got two elements. You've got the papillary dermis and the reticular dermis. So you want to take the, the reticular dermis for this and you can see it when you visualize the skin surface. The other thing is use a 2 one, one where you're taking the first two throws, one locking throw, and then another one, so that you are avoiding putting too much stitch material into the wound. Thank you for watching this uh, video. Uh, in this series, we have uh, uh, a lot of other videos to help you in improving your surgical skills.